Welcome to Mackay Plan Pro. This video will demonstrate how to use Mackay's Look Ahead feature to determine the optimal vessel waypoints and payout speeds around a compound autocourse in order to lay your cable along your planned route. First, we'll use the Look Ahead to determine where your cable will be laid if you continue to move your vessel along the planned route and do not adjust for the autocourses. In this example, you can see with the dotted as laid path in the plan view and the look ahead solutions on the right that your cable may be laid 500 meters or more off your intended route. You could end up unintentionally laying your cable too close to dangerous seamounts along steep slopes or with excess slack or tension. Next, we'll use the look ahead to move our future vessel waypoints to see where the cable will be laid if the vessel follows these new instructions. Common rules of thumb for where the vessel waypoints should be are not applicable here due to the dynamic shape of the cable caused by the many autocourses. We can see here that by utilizing Mackay's dynamic 3D model via the look ahead, we're able to calculate the new as laid cable positions if the vessel follows the new waypoint instructions. Your cable will now be laid much closer to the planned route and far from any dangerous seabed features. Once the vessel waypoints have been optimized, the look ahead with auto slack can then be used to optimize your payout speeds in order to lay your cable with the planned amount of bottom slack. Notice how after the vessel changes course, the payout speed must be reduced in order to continue laying with the planned amount of bottom slack. These payout speed calculations are highly dependent on having an accurate understanding of the cable shape and behavior in the water, which is only possible by using a dynamic 3D model. We've achieved our bottom slack goal. However, our inline accuracy, or what we call bottom cable in hand, has increased because we've laid our cable along a shorter bottom distance than planned by laying slightly on the inside of the autocourses. We can start bringing our inline accuracy back to zero by increasing our slack goal in auto slack. Now that the vessel has finished traversing the autocourses, we can generate instructions in the look ahead to increase the vessel speed while continuing to achieve our slack goal. The yellow dotted line you see here is the as laid path as calculated by the Mackay model.
please contact Mackay to try the software or for more information. Thanks for watching.